Okay. Sorry. Welcome to Climate Channel, Climate Conversation with Kamrul Sudri, Climate Action Pathways, episode 49. In this 49th episode, we are going to discuss the upcoming conference of Climate Change, Climate Summit, uh, beginning from October 31st in Glasgow, known as COP26. So in this uh, climate uh, parallel, in this climate summit, uh, we are expecting mm, many uh, heads of uh, states and governments uh, will join and uh, hopefully Paris Agreement mm, implementation, uh, especially rule book will, uh, work will be finished and also NDC updating uh, or robust uh, M ambition mm, uh, will be declared over there and also implementation roadmap mm, will be socked out in Glasgow so that 1.5 degree Paris Agreement global temperature rise uh, limit uh, will be within our race. But climate finance, adaptation goal, these are also horny issues at this time. $100 billion mobilization per annum from 2020. Uh, it is lagging far behind. So uh, these are the issues and what will be the, um, say, common time frame, uh, what will be the market mechanism for carbon emission uh, reduction, what will be the non-market mechanism uh, to cut back uh, fossil fuels mm, like phasing out coal, uh, say mm, subsidies uh, uh, to fossil fuels, uh, phase out. Uh, these are the issues uh, to be discussed in upcoming uh, COP in a week's time. So uh, in this conversation, mm, uh, climate conversation and climate channel, uh, uh, Jivan mm, J, uh, he is now in uh, near Shanghai uh, in China. Uh, he has joined with me. Uh, so uh, Jivan, mm, what is your mm, uh, take? Uh, how mm, uh, say global south mm, are preferring how mm, China is uh, making itself, uh, how China is going to cut back its emission uh, CO2 uh, and phasing out mm, coal, uh, sending it to the museum mm, is now a matter of uh, years. So uh, what is your take? What is your thought? What is your reflection as a mm, Youth, as a say young, uh, representing young generation, uh, what is your uh, say reflection, thought, and how do you are going to start out your future? Okay, so thank you for the questions. So firstly, I'd like to introduce myself. I am Jivan Bandari. My permanent address is Nepal. I am Nepali. Okay. Even though I am Nepali, I have been here in China for my PhD program. And my research is about the weather and its climate dynamics in the Himalayan region and the Tibetan Plateau. So I have a good understanding about the, the term related with the climate change and its disaster and its impact on socioeconomic environment. So here as a, as a part of, uh, with this dialogue, I would, I would like to say that the climate change is a big issue in today's world. The China has, in my understanding, in my, environment surrounding, I think the China is doing great and have been shifted towards the green economy. Since I'm not so much familiar about the green economy, uh, it's about the economic uh, background. So my understanding is about the research, how, what the data says about the climate change, how they gonna, Chinese are implementing the research and development in their phase product. So that has been my part. So in case of China, as a part of Chinese, uh, uh, not the representative, actually I'm not the representative, but as so far I have seen the China has done a lot progress in the field of uh, uh, reducing these gases and shifting towards the uh, digital, digitalize with less carbon emission. So China is doing great these days so far. 
I think uh, Ziva, uh, you are from Kathmandu, you are from yeah. Nepal, mm, you are from Himalayan regions and yes, sir. whatever happens, mm, say whatever emissions in China mm, mm -hmm. or mm, in other neighboring countries that mm -hmm. um, will affect mm, and have already been affecting uh, say Nepal, Bangladesh, and other mm, uh, downstream countries, upstream, downstream, mountainous countries, Himalayan mm -hmm. countries. Mm -hmm. So, uh, how you foresee mm, things will move in the positive direction? Yes, China mm, is now mm, uh, going for a green economy, green growth, uh, green jobs, uh, green. Mm, uh, but. Uh, everything is not green and they are also yes. producing a lot of coals and yeah. they, their economy is heavily dependent on uh, coal. Mm, uh, so uh, even if they say green growth, green economy, yeah, but uh, dirty mm, uh, say coal mm, is still mm, in the operation. It is still, mm, though uh, they have declared that they are also going to phase out uh, mm. uh, coal, especially in foreign countries, their investment for coal, say they are going to stop that. But within China, they are still extracting a lot of coal. So yes. it's a huge, huge challenge. But in the near future, they might cut back their emissions. So that is a positive news. But the global world, especially countries like Nepal, Bangladesh, mm, and others, uh, need a lot of uh, emission reduction from, mm, say, China, uh, say, USA, uh, Japan, mm, Russia, uh, and uh, many other countries, uh, NX1 countries, and also some developing countries, fast moving developing countries. So, yes. uh, how do you foresee? Uh, how, what data hmm, uh, say IPCC AR6 assessment hmm, uh, report, especially working group one, uh, hmm. already hoisted red alert. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. hmm, uh, they hmm, uh, ask for uh, taking more bold, aggressive hmm, actions, mm -hmm. especially actions from now on, before 2030. So, mm -hmm. drastically cut back emissions. Mm. So, yeah, so. to a certain extent, I I am agree with your uh, your 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 statement. I am agree with that. Uh, definitely, the emission will widely affect those downstream countries. I am quite sure about that. Uh, based on the recent data of the COVID during the COVID time period, uh, mm -hmm. there was a research paper from the Chinese Academy of Science. So, which also shows that most of the people source from the research articles, so far I have, I have read about it. So most of the paper, in most of the paper, they have been reported and it has been agreed by the uh, renowned journals also that the emission of the carbon gases, the nitrous oxide and those uh, harmful gases, they have been quite reduced to some degree extent lower, but uh, I, ha I have not seen how it is in the real world, but the research paper and the data uh, from the academic research group, uh, so far, it's, I think it is, it's, not, it's, it's impossible to reduce uh, to our, ultimately to the zero level because China is a developing country, the production of the industrialization, the production is much more high. So um, I think uh, China has a lot to do about that. Uh, okay. So what, uh, what is your uh, say, uh, message for uh, Glasgow COP26? Because it is very important for uh, countries like Nepal, yeah. Bangladesh, uh, uh, and uh, other Asian smaller countries, African smaller countries, vulnerable countries, uh, or mm. Latin American vulnerable countries, uh, climate adverse impact countries. Uh, yeah, yeah. Based on my suggestion and my understanding, yeah, 
there should be some coordination, cooperation with the emission as well as some what a green economy. What is the term that I, I'm not so familiar, but there is some uh, some kind of understanding between the global panel uh, in the developing countries and the developed countries. The China should also have to um, uh, reduce its emission and should have to take care about since it's the big country. So it should have to be, it should have to keep in mind about what is going to be happen in the another countries with its effect on the emission of those gases. So my suggestion, my my suggestion is would be like, so please take care about uh, the emission so that the emission is not confined within the China itself only. So please take a look about the reducing, about the uh, technological advancement in the in the lowering down of those fossil fuels and those those gases. So I'd like to suggest that one, sir. Thank you very much, uh, Jevan, for joining climate yeah. conversation at Climate Center. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you to be the part of it. Thank you, sir. It was a pleasure to have Jason. Um, uh, from uh, Nepal now uh, doing his PhD program in uh, Shanghai, near Shanghai. So mm -hmm. uh, it, it, it was... Uh, with that, we are going to um, close this 49th episode of Climate Conversation with Kamal Sodri. Okay, thank you. Hey Toronto, we know you care about our city and all of the people that live here. But lately, our city's been under threat from climate